What if I told you that Huawei might be ditching Sony's famous camera sensor in favor of something completely new? That's exactly what's being reported about the upcoming Huawei Pura 80 Pro. And even though the main camera still has a resolution of 50 megapixels, this small change could actually be a big deal. Huawei's new Pura 80 series is expected to launch next month, and this time, the company seems ready to break away from its usual camera setup. Until now, Huawei has mostly relied on Sony and OmniVision sensors for its flagship phones. But things are changing. According to a well-known tipster, the Pura 80 Pro may come with a main camera sensor developed by SmartSense, a Chinese company that's slowly making a name for itself in the imaging world. Specifically, Huawei might use the SmartSense SCEV A0CS, a new 1-inch sensor with 50 megapixels of resolution. This is a big move because the 1-inch sensor size usually means better photo quality, especially in low light. Larger sensors capture more light, which makes photos brighter and more detailed. At one point, rumors suggested that Huawei would use the Sony IMX989 for the Pura 80 Pro's main camera. That's the same sensor used in some other high-end smartphones, known for great camera performance. But now it seems like Huawei is switching plans and going with the new SmartSense sensor instead. So, why is this important? Well, Huawei is one of the few companies in China that is trying to depend less on foreign tech. That includes everything from chips to camera sensors. By choosing SmartSense, a Chinese brand, Huawei is not just upgrading its camera hardware, it's also showing more support for homegrown technology. And it's not just Huawei. Other smartphone brands are reportedly working with SmartSense as well, which shows that this company is quickly becoming a serious player in the camera world. SmartSense is known for its work in developing CMOS image sensors and pushing the limits of image quality through research and innovation. We don't have full details yet on how this new sensor will perform, but there's a good chance it could improve dynamic range, reduce noise in night shots, and make photos sharper overall. Whether it's better low-light performance or more natural colors, we can expect the camera to take a step forward. Apart from the main sensor, the Pura 80 Pro is also expected to include a 12-megapixel periscope lens. This type of lens is often used for zoomed-in shots and usually offers great detail even at long distances. There might also be improvements to this part of the camera system, but we'll have to wait and see. In terms of the screen, the phone might come with a flat display this time, instead of the usual curved one. There's talk of a new screen solution. To make the visuals look even better, it's not just about cameras. Huawei seems to be working on improving the overall viewing experience too. Is Huawei about to shake up the smartphone camera world again? A new leak suggests that the upcoming Huawei Pura 80 Ultra might do just that and it could easily end up being the best camera phone of the year. With just a few weeks left until the official reveal in June, a live image has surfaced online, showing what appears to be the camera module of the Pura 80 Ultra. And from what we can see, Huawei is definitely not playing it safe this time. The leaked image, which seems to have come from someone testing the device ahead of launch, shows a close-up of the back of the phone. It's wrapped in a thick protective case, probably to hide the final design. But even through the cover, the camera setup is very noticeable. Just like previous models, the lenses appear to be arranged in a triangular layout. But this time, the module looks even bigger. Based on what we've seen, it might cover almost half of the back panel. The photo was originally posted on Weibo by the well-known tipster, Jet Art Fixed Focus, who quickly deleted it. Luckily, another tech blogger on X, formerly Twitter, grabbed the image and shared it publicly. It didn't take long before people started analyzing the image and comparing it with older Huawei phones. And that's when things got interesting. It looks like Huawei has added not just one, but two periscope zoom lenses to the Pura 80 Ultra. This feature alone could push its photography capabilities to a whole new level. Multiple leaks, including those from Digital Chat Station suggest that both of these periscope sensors are 50 megapixels and will use Huawei's signature RYYB color filter system. For those unfamiliar, RYYB replaces the traditional green pixels with yellow ones to let in more light, which leads to brighter and clearer images, especially in low light. If these reports are true, 
The Pura 80 Ultra could offer extremely detailed macro and zoom shots with almost no loss in quality. The addition of dual periscope lenses would allow the camera to switch between different zoom levels while keeping the image sharp and stable, something we usually only see in top-tier DSLR setups. Besides the periscope lenses, the phone will also keep the primary and ultra-wide sensors that we saw in the Pura 70 Ultra. However, Huawei is expected to improve both of them for better performance and image clarity. There's also talk of the company possibly adding the Mate 70's multi-spectral lens, which is designed to capture more color information for even more accurate photos. All of these upgrades could position the Pura 80 Ultra as the most advanced camera phone ever released. Huawei already has a reputation for building powerful cameras, and this new setup suggests the company is aiming to stay ahead of both Samsung and Apple in the photography game. Can Samsung finally fix its Exynos problem with the Galaxy S26? For years, Samsung fans have been split over one thing, Snapdragon versus Exynos. If you've followed Samsung's flagship phones, you already know the pattern. Some regions get Qualcomm's E Snapdragon chips, others get Samsung's in-house Exynos. And usually the Snapdragon models perform better. But now, all eyes are on the Exynos 2600 and the upcoming Galaxy S26 series, because this could be the chipset that either saves Exynos or buries it for good. According to the latest reports, Samsung is going back to its old strategy. The Galaxy. S26 and S26 Plus will launch in two versions depending on the region. Some markets will get the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 for Galaxy, while others will receive the Exynos 2600. Samsung has been working on this new Exynos chip for quite some time, and it's built on the company's new 2 nanometer process. That's a big technical milestone, especially after Samsung struggled with its 3 nanometer production in 2024. But here's the twist. Samsung is reportedly not using Exynos at all in the Galaxy S26 Ultra, no matter where you are in the world. That's the clearest sign yet that Samsung still isn't fully confident in the new Exynos 2600. If it were just as good as Snapdragon, the Ultra should have had it too, right? This decision says a lot. Samsung has a pattern. Whenever performance, a, really matters, they go with Snapdragon. And past Exynos chips have had their issues. Less power efficiency, heating problems, and lower performance in demanding tasks like gaming and video processing. So even though Samsung has spent a lot of time and money building up Exynos again, the fact that the S26 Ultra is skipping it entirely doesn't exactly inspire confidence. But here's why this matters so much. Samsung isn't just trying to save money by avoiding Qualcomm. The company is planning for a future where it relies less on outside suppliers. Just like how Apple built its own M-series chips, Samsung wants to build its own high-end processors. Exynos is a big part of that vision. And if it works, it could give Samsung tighter control over performance, battery life, and long-term support. The Exynos 2600 has to deliver this time, not just for users, but for the company's entire strategy. If it performs well, it'll help Samsung rebuild trust. If it fails, it'll push more people to avoid regions with Exynos-powered models. That's bad for sales and bad for the brand. And consumers aren't forgiving even if most people can't. Feel the performance difference in daily use? No one wants to pay the same price for a product that's technically worse. That's the core issue. So the pressure is real. Samsung can't afford another chip that runs hot, drains the battery, too fast, or scores low on benchmarks. 